Today on Thrifty Whiskey, the guys will be reviewing Black Velvet Reserve. Black Velvet Reserve is a blended Canadian whiskey from the Black Velvet Distillery. It is older than their entry-level offering being aged for 8 years. It is bottled at 80 proof. We paid the average retail price of $13 for our bottle. As always, your prices may vary. Enjoy! Thanks, Joyce. Let's see what Joyce poured us here. Like a liquid caramel. Getting some sort of red fruit. I'm getting like caramel cream. I'm not getting the fruit. I'm getting the caramel and the cream and the candy. Just general random like candy. Like powdered sugar. I, don't, I am getting fruit now. Skittles. I'm getting a berry. Maybe a raspberry? I want to get a drink. Not at all what I was expecting. Like I was expecting sweet and succulent off the yeah the nose off the nose and i got sharp and bitter See, i, I still get... got some sweetness there but it's it's like masked behind some bitterness i wasn't getting much on the nose and i got sweetness in general orange i can see a citrus what? yeah yeah i could i could see that zest see i'm still getting like a creamy sweetness so i'm getting like an orange like an orange creamsicle i can see that but i'm also getting a little bit of nuttiness I say a little bit of oakiness, a little bit of wood tannin, oaky. Yeah, but as far as the orange goes, I'm getting like straight mandarin orange, like slices. I'm gonna go back to the nose. I think I'm gonna start adding water. I feel like this whiskey's gonna open up a little bit. I think the fruit's coming out a little more. It's a lot more perfumey. It tastes more perfumey too, but not in a um, bad way. I don't think. No, I think a little bit in a bad way, but not totally in a bad way. Like if you're chewing on clover petals, that sweetness. But it's still kind of perfumey, the, the floral. I'm not getting any orange notes any longer. No, not after adding the water. Yeah. That's. It's more floral and. Yeah, it's more floral. Not even orange blossom. There's a little bit of an earthy note. A musty earthiness. Yeah. We're going to go ahead and move on to our ratings and uh, see what we think of the nose palette and finish on a scale of zero to five. The nose, I really liked it. I'm going to go with a. Th- three and a half on the, on the nose. There were some floral bouquets, a little bit of orange, a little bit of spiciness and some sweetness. And then uh, my first taste coming off the nose was exactly the opposite of what I was expecting. I'm just wondering if my palate wasn't quite warmed up yet, maybe, I'm not sure. After a while, it started to awaken up, started to awaken for me. I noticed some orange, noticed some cream. I thought it was pretty decent. I'm gonna go with a three on the palette. Finish, not much discussion between any of us on the finish. I found it kind of boring. I'm gonna go with a 0.5 on the finish. Nothing worth talking about. I'm giving it a 1.5 on the nose. I didn't find it inviting. I didn't enjoy the nose particularly very much. See, I thought those first couple sips after the nose were not what I was expecting, but in a good way. I immediately got like that thick, creamy, and a little bit of the orange coming through. As I had more sips, that kind of dulled, and the other nose came forward, which I didn't necessarily love as much. I'm going to give it a three on the palate. And I agree with you 100% on the on the finish. It's there wasn't much to talk about. I'm giving it a one. I wasn't getting much on the nose at all. What I got was fine. So I'm actually gonna go two on the nose. The palette I did think was a step up from the nose. It had some more flavors. It was actually a little bit more robust. And so I'm gonna go with a three finish. Like you guys said, not much there. Not much to talk about. A little bit of a lingering spice, but it's kind of stretching it. And so basically, it's just a short. A little bit of spicy finish. And I'm gonna go with a one on the finish. We're gonna move on to guesses. We're gonna guess what we think the type, the proof, the retail price, and we'll also give what we would pay for it. I'm gonna go bourbon, 82. I'm gonna say it's an $18 bottle. Personally, I'm not gonna go past 12. I'm not overly impressed enough to go looking for this. I am going to go Canadian. I'm going to go 
80 proof. I also do think it's somewhere in the $18 range. I think it's somewhere around there. If you caught me on the right day, I'd be willing to pay 14 for this. Going back to the nose, I'm actually starting to get a little more fruit now on the nose. I'm gonna go Irish. I'm gonna go 80 proof. I am gonna go, because it's Irish, a $25 bottle, but I would probably pay 17 for it. I think you might be right. <laughs> on the Irish? Yeah. <laughs> All right, well, let's go ahead and find out. Today we drank Black Velvet Reserve. Canadian. Canadian. proof. What's the retail on that? This is a Canadian whiskey. It is 80 proof. It's eight years old. Oh boy. It has a mash bill of corn whiskey, blended with rye whiskey, blended with malt whiskey, because they do the thing where they blend, yeah. they blend afterwards. Probably aged next bourbon uh, casts. Distillery, Black Velvet Distilling Company. General price, $13. <laughs> That's eight years old. $13. $13. Eight Thanks, years. Canada. <laughs> I mean, if, if you're all about age-dated whiskeys, there you go. Eight years old for only $13. And this bottle is pretty cool looking. It is a cool looking bottle. For 13 bucks, do you know what? I said on, on the right day, I'd pay 14. I'll pay 13. Yeah, I said, I said 17. It's so. still a dollar more than I said I would spend, so. I could put this on my shelf and go, this is an eight-year-old whiskey that I'm not gonna open, so. That I, that's in a cool looking bottle. I can pawn it off on my friends who don't know things and they'll enjoy it. It's not even. Well, I'm drinking my three year old whiskey. <laughs> you don't even need a decanter for this bottle. It just already looks cool. Yeah, like I'll be drinking my three year old whiskey out of like a relatively plain looking bottle. I mean, not straight from the bottle, obviously. Raise Motor Sites, Distiller gave us an 84. Tastings.com gave it an 87. And then tasting notes from around the web. On the nose, caramel, oak, butter, and butterscotch. Palate, pepper, caramel, sweet, fruit, and spice. And finish, alcohol, wood, pepper, zest. I don't disagree with any of that. No. Well, frankly, I think we picked up a lot well, of that. The butterscotch, I didn't I didn't really catch that. Yeah, I didn't get that, but no, you said, I you don't said like caramel at the beginning. Yeah, yeah mm -hmm. I did say caramel, but. So caramel, I put caramel and butterscotch in the same like region. Despite the poor ratings, I think this is a win for the bottle. Yeah. I mean, for $13. I think what really helps it for me is that age of eight years. Yeah. That and the bottle's cool looking. I can definitely use this as my, impress my unknowing guess. Unknowing guess, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you need that, that unknowing part, but. I'm thinking for thirteen dollars, maybe I I'll get it. Yeah, I mean I'm not gonna buy another bottle. Well, this one's gone. It's gone. I just want to hear somebody say at my house, "Oh, the black velvet, if you please." <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, until next time, may the winds of fortune sail you. May you sail a gentle sea. May it always be the other guy who says, "This, this drinks, drinks on me." me.